in this tutorial I want to show you how we can take a simple mesh and turn it into a destructible. This is all done within Unreal Engine 4. For example I have the simple table prop in my map and I converted the prop to a destructible. I've also created a simple blueprint which after 3 seconds causes the top table to start falling and then colliding with the ones below it. So let's see what happens. Let's just uh, click simulate right here. So 3 seconds. Now the great thing is we don't even need a blueprint for the destruction to happen. So let me show you how we can use this powerful feature. So um, I've imported a teapot from 3ds Max and we can use any prop or model for this but for this tutorial I'm just going to use this, this teapot. So the first thing we should do is make sure it has collision. So let's select the teapot, double click it and um, now we can apply collision in a third party program or we can apply it within the engine itself so let's just go ahead and do it in the engine I'll show you how we do that, we just click collision and for the sake of this I'm just gonna choose this one and now if we click collision we can see the boundaries of it ok now that's all we need to do here so let's close that and right now we go back to the content browser we right click and you'll see we have an option to create a destructible mesh. Now let's do that. So we have our teapot again here, and the first thing we want to do is come over to yours might look like this. So destructible mesh, default destructible parameters, damage parameters, and let's turn impact damage to one and default impact damage depth to the value of one as well. Now if we come further down we see cell site count in the fracture settings and now this is basically um, how many pieces the teapot is going to break up into. So for, let's just turn this down to 10 to start with. And now once you've chosen a number you're, you're happy with we can then go ahead and click fracture mesh. We'll give it a second and now we can change the explode amount. And then we have our destroy teapot. Now here we have preview depth. If we choose zero, nothing's going to happen because it's just showing you the base model. If we choose one, it's the um, destroyed model. Okay, now we can choose a random seed, so if we just go to a random number it's just going to click fracture again, it's just going to change it slightly. As you see OK, now we've done that, let's just uh, close this and get it working in the map. So first thing we'll do, we'll drag this out. And we need to just check some settings. So we want to simulate physics. Keep start awake on, which means when you click simulate or play, it's just going to immediately start falling. And we want to, on the collision tab, click simulation generates hit events. OK, and now let's drag this up. There and now let's see select it and then we just click simulate or play. And it's destroyed. I thought it was destroy them, but oh I forgot to um turn that blueprint off. Let's just uh, take that out quickly. Okay, where's my teapot? There it is. Now let's turn it a bit higher, let's rotate it a bit. And let's click simulate again. There we go. Okay, in part two, I'll show you how we can apply some more cool effects like sound effects, or if we're doing a side scroller game, we can uh, use it as a, you know, like to break down part of the level you can then go into. I'll, I'll show you in part two. Okay.